Well, I think this is one of the biggest issues facing us all today, and I think it's an issue that's going to have a, if we do nothing about it, it will have a major impact on every person, every society, and every country in our earth. So I just think it's so pervasive uh, that it's one of the things I feel very strongly about. In my job, in my work, we are continually thinking about ways of, uh, as a company, can we reduce the, the impact of climate change? You know, we are looking at smarter ways of doing things, greener ways of doing things, looking at packaging, looking at consumption. But I think that it's not just a job thing. I think the biggest impact that we can all have is in our private lives and our daily lives. I think that um, sometimes issues like this can seem so big and so difficult that people just don't think about them. But if we all just took a few steps every day, did little things in a different way, you know, stop that and water on when you're you know, brushing your teeth down to, you know, switching off the set top box and your, your TV set. I think the main thing is we're not asking people to change dramatically what they do. We're not saying to people don't watch TV. But if you actually switch off sets and boxes after you've watched it, to make a major impact. What? Well, hopefully uh, we can get the point across that this is an issue that affects all of us. And it's not so much like being a public figure. I hope my colleagues at work, I hope my family, you know, would share my passion and my sense of urgency about this. So I think that we've all got a role to play here in terms of setting an example and, and leading from the front. I think that if we can harness a lot of the measures about the rainforests, about climate change, and actually deliver those, in a friendly way via the internet, we could get much better buy and much better engagement from the younger people because, quite frankly, it's the younger generation that are going to achieve more in this fight than we are. And they've got much more of their lives to make a change here. There's probably a couple. Um, I like the toucan, but I'm not sure if that's subliminal because I used to drink Guinness and that was always the, uh, the bird associated with the Guinness adverts. But even the, the common chimpanzee, I mean, I, I like uh, chimps, I think that there's such an affinity between uh, chimps and humans, and, and again, we've got. Uh, some organisations in the UK trying to protect chimps. So I just think, uh, I love chimps actually, I love seeing what they do, I love them socially interacting with each other. Uh, and so they're probably one of my, my favourite species. Not really, I've got a pond in my garden and there's lots of frogs in them and, and at times, you know, uh, uh, at spawn season I can hardly see the water for it. I think, my God, what's going on here? And then when they all come out, I think it's wonderful. So you know, I have a, an annual interaction with the frogs in my, in my garden.